Hi, it's Mr. Anderson, and this is AP Physics Essentials, video 66. It's on mass and energy and their equivalents. Remember, Einstein's famous equation showed that energy can be converted into mass, and mass can be converted into energy. In other words, they're equivalent. They're the same thing. And since C is the speed of light, we can get a huge amount of energy from a small amount of mass. So in this first atomic explosion ever, about a gram of matter was lost, and that became the energy that you can see. Now that might seem odd, but it's even odder when you look in the other direction. Energy will be converted back into matter. And so in Grand Coulee Dam, it's been calculated that every four hours, about a, a gram of matter is created. And so what is that gram of matter? Well, it's actually heat and light in the towns that that dam serves. And so how could light and heat be matter? Well, they are. If I were to take a slinky, for example, and stretch out the slinky, by adding energy to it, I've actually added mass to the slinky. And if that blows your mind, welcome to the world of special relativity. And so mass and energy can be converted from one form to another. And thankfully, even though that concept is confusing, the equation is very simple, e equals mc squared. E is energy, m is mass, and c is going to be the speed of light. So we can convert one into another. But if we're going from the mass to the energy side, like we would in almost any of these nuclear processes, we're gonna get a huge amount of energy from a very small amount of mass. And so how do we measure energy? It's gonna be measured in joules. And what is a joule? It's simply a Newton meter. And so if you were to take an apple, which is about a Newton, and you were to raise it you know, three feet or around a meter, that's gonna be one Newton meter. So it doesn't seem like a lot of energy in one joule. If you were to do that in a second, that would be one watt of power that you would have. And most light bulbs, to give you an idea, around 60 watt light bulbs, that means that they have enough energy, electrical energy, to lift 60 apples a meter every second. So there's a huge amount of energy found in electricity. But how much energy is locked in the apple itself? In other words, if we were to use Einstein's equation, how much energy could we get out of the mass inside the apple? We know it's gonna be a huge amount of energy, but the calculations are really, really simple. E equals mc squared. Remember, we've got energy, mass, and speed of light. So all you do is figure out the mass of an apple. It's gonna be around 150 grams or 0.15 kilograms. And then you simply plug it into the equation. So energy is equal to mass, 0.15 kilograms, times the speed of light squared. So we have to square this value right here. And so if I calculate that, I get around 14 qu quadrillion joules of energy just found in the matter of the apple itself. And again, in the future, maybe we'll have fusion reactors. We can harness some of that energy without these awful consequences. And so did you learn to apply mathematical routines to describe the relationship between mass and energy across all different scales? I hope so, and I hope that was helpful.